Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy XIV. So, the update 1.22 just happened and it came a lot sooner than I really anticipated. So, bear with me for a little bit. Um, in this patch, Hamlet Defense came out and... Uh, what else? A Garuda Fight came out. I'm also very, very tired because, let's see, I pulled an all-nighter last- well, I woke up at 7 p.m. yesterday, and I stayed up until 5 p.m. today, and then I got an hour of sleep, and now I'm awake because it's 7 p.m. So, I'm a little bit wonky at the moment because I just only got an hour of sleep before playing this, and it's kind of because of school. But I did want to check out the patch before I totally pass out. So I expect to be passing out in... Holy shit, look at how much Emma you have. I had plus 15 before. Uh, anyway. <laughs> I, I totally expect to pass out sometime. But I did want to check out something if I can find it. Oh crap. See, I wanted to find Delmond and I think I just found it. That thing is huge. Look at that thing. I, it's cloudy so it's hard to see, but look how big that thing is. It's getting bigger and bigger every patch. Anyway, I just wanted to show you guys that, but besides showing you the big giant red fireball in the sky that's gonna kill us all, um, I wanted to also show you guys the armory system. So, if you guys haven't e noticed by now, I'm like the worst pack rat in the world. See, I'm 187 out of 200 spaces, and I have a bunch of shit that people probably wouldn't normally carry around. So, because of this, I never have inventory space, which is pretty Q Q Q Q Q. Especially when I try to spirit bond gear. So, we're gonna go over to my retainers, and we're going to take. JD. Anyway, we're gonna go over to our retainers and take some of my event gear out because that's what's taking up a lot of room on one of my retainers. And we're gonna put it in the new armory that's in your Mog Inn. Or Inn. Mog House Inn thing. Um, so let's go to Ironmongers and go visit Horokun, and we are going to get all my event gear, which is kind of a little bit of a stupid amount, <laughs> and we're going to have to get some of it fixed, but I bet some of it can be put in right away. So let's find Horokun, who is somewhere in the Market Wards. He is over there. So the patch actually came out on time, which is very surprising. I mean, they're behind on the content that's going to be in it, but they're still on time with the patches, which is pretty much a miracle. Okay. So we're going to take some of this random gear and we're going to replace it with craftable items. Oh and like see it's 99% I need to get that fixed. Got 
Dragon Kabuto. Oh, and this uh, patch came out with a lot of new recipes, and most of them are for like original classes. So there's no recipes really for warrior and monk and dragoon, but there are recipes for. Oh no. Um. Anyway, there are recipes for for the original classes like marauder and lancer and conjurer. And some of the bar or the archer stuff looks really cool, and because I'm kind of biased against bard and mages in general, I think I'm actually going to kind of gear out my archer because I actually really enjoy archer, but I don't enjoy bard, which is kind of weird. But I think part of that has to do with my Final Fantasy 11 bias against bards and. Also, just the fact that I just don't like maging or having to deal with enhancing other people in general. I just want to shoot things and kill them. So yeah, some of this gear is going to be needing some touching up, I have to admit. And I don't think they're going to take things like the Usagi Hell. Uh, the silver Usagi Kabuto. But I think they'll take pretty much every. Well, I heard that you can't take the Dream Tunic either. But they're gonna be able to take all the swimsuits. Which is amazing. Because <laughs> these things take a bunch of. take up a bunch of inventory room. They'll take some AF. Which, yay! Since I have Bard AF stored on my wheel, it's all good. Um, we're gonna have to put some more items on Horican store just for a little bit. Let's put mithril ingots or mithril ores. Electrum ores. Uh, cold out plates. I have plenty of those. Oh, here's some mithril ingots. all this stuff. Notice how much random stuff I have in my inventory from events? Well, all that is going to be not on my mule anymore, which will be awesome. That'll give me a lot of room. But that doesn't save the or save me from the fact that I'm a total pack rat no matter what, so I'm sure I'll fill it up with some other thing, even though I have a plentiful amount of spaces after this. Like, I'll probably save these IA drops just because they're there, and I don't want to waste them. Oh, there's so much gear I can get rid of. Sorry, this is making me very happy. Ah, why do I have a data? I don't know. Data electrum rings are for spirit bonding during our uh, what's it called runs? Dark light gear runs, cutters cry and orum. So that's why I have those. Okay, midnight ring. Ok, 
Okay, I'll deal with the rest later, but I'll grab this one and then I'm going to head to the inn, which I think has a new entrance because people were flooding it. So we're gonna have to find the new entrance to the inn. Oh, here's another one I need to get. Ah! Oh, I can put those in my inventory. Okay, so I am 199, uh, 200 spaces. Okay. One second. Alright, so we are heading to the inn right now, and uh, we are going to get rid of all the stuff. <laughs> I'm not converting- oh! oh! Oh no, I don't have enough room. Cut! Maybe I do. I'm gonna sell like two things, because I'm going to get my last two Moogle weapons. I totally forgot about that. So... Why do I have- oh, okay, 23 Kuba Mutt Charms, and I'm missing two weapons, so let's sell. Okay, we're gonna sell all these Pug Wings, because I definitely don't need those. And we're going to sell some Dynamite Sinew, because I also don't need that. Let's sell some Dynamite Web. Oh no, losing money all around. My inventory is going to be so clean though after this, it's going to make me happy. Okay, so we're going to talk to Rowena really quickly and get my, um, get my Moogle weapon. So, a Kupo Nut Charm. Uh, I guess Vortex Headdresses is what we're going to have to uh, get now. So what I'm missing is... A Thalmaturge staff and the Moogle Mogfist, a murderous Mogfist. So let's get. Hand over 10 Koopa nuts. Yay, I'm 7 out of 7 on Moogle weapons now. They reduced it from 20 to 10. And. After going on like 120 or more than that. I've been on so many Moogle runs that it was ridiculous. But I am still not 7 out of 7 somehow. And I was expecting to go uh, 40 runs of, or 40 nuts worth of runs before I even got to see any sort of uh, new Moogle weapon. So I think the inn is actually located around here. So we're going, or I think it's on the second floor. Then you're supposed to be able to enter the end somewhere. Maybe we will find the people.
Actually, let's go to the, um... The in-person, and maybe they'll tell us where to go. Oh, and you can make a second home point, too. That's gonna be really nice. So your second home point is going to be... Um... Something you can use... Like, in the inn. I think it's a home point for the inn, and then you can have a second, uh, another home point anywhere else you want. So, uh, let's go to... The Quicksand, which is the Adventurer's Guild. Sorry, I'm running around everywhere. I'm not exactly sure where this inn guy is supposed to be in Ulda. I can give up and just go to Limsa if I wanted to. Because the armor system that they're making, you can actually, um... You can actually use it from all three cities. Over in the golden card, the doorman Kopuru Fupuru will assist you. Kopuru f Okay. So we gotta go to the golden court. Oh yeah, see they changed the icon that's over there. Alright, so here is the entrance to the inn, and then there should be an NPC where you're going to enter. Yes. I'm gonna actually set this as my secondary home point for right now. Yay! And then we are going to enter the inn. And we're going to talk to the little chest thing when we get in there. So I know we're going to have to repair some of this gear, but we can get most of it. So there's your journal. And here's the uh, armory. Or more. So I want to store items. And right now I want to store all this stuff. Yes. Oh, and it removes your spirit bond on it, but I don't want to spirit bond any of this stuff. So look at that, I pretty much reduced my inventory space by 30 spaces. And now since that's kind of done, let's go do job artifact, even though I bet most of it- Oh hey, some of it is not used at all! Let's get rid of this, cause I hate bard. And let's get rid of this. And I also don't want to play white mage, so I guess that's a good idea. I would kill everyone in our party. 
Then the mini skirt. Uh, I'll keep those on me, even though they're kind of useless. Um, hmm. Go to those. If I have to go archer or bar, then I, I'll I'll pull some of the stuff out. But the likelihood of me playing archer for a while is not super high. I do need to fix some of this gear. Like, I probably want to store some of the paladin gear, because it rarely gets used. Mm. I'm a bad black mage, so I do use the black mage gear, but um, I probably shouldn't. Okay, then bonus items include stuff like the onion head, Ashron's arm guards, and if I found them, they would be... Uh, the Hermes sandals. Oh, and then here's achievement awards. If you have a bunch of achievement awards, you can store that too. So now that I saved it, um, let's look at how to remove items. Uh, so I want to go pick job artifact. And here we go. We can remove whatever. Um, seasonal events. So the interface is actually pretty nice compared to Final Fantasy XI where you only had like the text commands that you can see. You can actually go in and just scroll through all of it. See what the little icon is. It's pretty self-explanatory. But yeah, that's all I really wanted to show you guys is this new awesome way to store your items for people who are total packers like I am. So yay, no more total minus inventory spaces for everyone. Anyway, I'm going to go fix a lot of this gear because you need to have it 100% before you're able to trade it. So I'm going to go do that and I am going to, yeah, eventually do Grand Company missions. But hopefully I'm not so whacked out and rambling about stupid shit. Which I really forgive my, uh, forgive, uh, bleh. I'm really sorry for you guys if I'm doing that, because apparently I can't talk at all right now. Again, I'm sorry, but uh, that's the beginning of one pa uh, patch 1.22, and I will fix all my gear, and I will see you when I go do Grand Company missions.